The purpose of this session is to declare a determined will to collaborate for U.S.-Korea alliance in strategic infrastructure to advance societies toward an innovative paradigm. For this session, it's a great pleasure that I invite Professor Chun Seok Kwang, Director of Seoul National University Global NDB Center, and Mrs. Zenina Anderson, Senior Partner of the Strategic Infrastructure Performance Institute and to the stage is a co-host for the summit. Please give a warm welcome to Professor Chun Seok Kwang and Mrs. Zenia Anderson. Professor Chun Seok Kwang and Mrs. Zenia Anderson, the floor is yours. First of all, uh, I'd like to give my great honor and great appreciation for our honorable keynote speakers from both United States of America and Republic of Korea. Um, since we have uh, some session for uh, the plenary discussion, uh, I'd like to elaborate uh, some of the findings we have yesterday. At the same time, our vision and also will from the theme of this year's uh, summit. First, I'd like to first talk about that uh, theme to be elaborated by relating the keynote speakers' story of their life. We made Republic of Korea United States partnership revitalizing global innovation frontierism. Going back to Honorable Professor Park Hee-jae, who is my real model and hero, and whom I met when I first come to SNU as a system professor, who was the director of our Engineering Research Institute, managing all these R&D for the college, and uh, who I see a professor like I saw in the United States. Not only that, the reason he is the symbol of frontier, not just leader, innovation frontier, someone who has to break the law, someone who has to close the line, someone who has to break the ground. I don't think that is just only knowledge or smartness. That's courage and passion and love. And you see the energy of Honorable Professor Park and the energy comes from his real life. I don't believe anyone can actually make this stage like in this energy by only intelligence. This life is already the symbol of frontierism and symbol of energy that we are only all fully recharged to revitalize the future generation who we have in the back of audience who are now getting the scholarship from the Ministry of Science and ICT for 20 years and also by the Ministry of Industry and Trade for 160 years. This commitment for the future from the government of Korea should be spilled over to the United States where they now we consider to have revitalizing industrial policy and how important it is that government take care of. This is our message and which I share with also Norman and this is my friend. Further elaborating that discussion, Professor Park is the hidden hero of Korean semiconductor manufacturing, which first speaker, Dom Basil, witnessed 
the largest manufacturing capacity of semiconductor now. What makes it happen? Not only processing and cleansing them, those semiconductors, but inspecting those semiconductors with the top quality precision quality. That's why the name comes from SMU Precision. No other country still has that patent to beat that quality inspection. But without good inspection, there's no quality in semiconductor. I hope you remember that who is the one to build this processing capability of the Korea, not only in massive scale, but in quality. Secondly, such energy work also should be witnessed. Our frontier engineer who studied in Stanford with what we call system semiconductor. Professor Che Young is first generation of the engineer who studied and actually bring the capability of system semiconductor, which still Korea is lacking, but heavily investing to do further to create central processor unit and future optical and quantum processor. How those innovations can come can be done because of technology it will not belong to the university in the United States. It belongs to the company and company owned research institute. Like a Professor Che and many of our, our SNU professors work from such strong research institutes supported by U.S. firm like Lucy, Dallas, Enhead Labs. And those with this actually sharing those forward to develop the country's growth and cultivating that through the National University of Korea, so-called solution. Really bloom the way that, how we can contribute to the rest of the society, raising our leader with a great, great capability with high standard and for the vision that you can be the first. Definitely semiconductor design and especially in system design, stand for is the top and number one in the world as a center of Silicon Valley. For that reason, you now hear Professor Chess witness how he has seen the way and led and represented and took the responsibility of our government. His true vision of great transformation he messaged is right. And this should be continued for the rest of the world. That's why I invited Honorable Professor Che in this society. And we're, our students from the all around the world will follow his vision and exercise and create the new record of him. In addition to these two Korean leadership speakers, also our American Korean American, Jessica Kim, who exercised actual vision of improving education through the name of International College. Sometime in International College, International University, when you put the international on something, very difficult to cultivate. And because the economy, there were no supporting mechanisms for the international, like a UN. For such reason, both in Korea and any part of the world, globalism or international innovation is a really good symbol for the world, but it is not easy things to do, and there's no sponsorship around that. By having the money from his family and hard work as an immigrant, actually made a great foundation that how we can cultivate this to share the rest of the world is a great, great successor 
and at the same time, great foundation. As a mother of five children, I believe that leadership should continue. I think that is the front line of Korea and frontierism. At the same time, gender leadership, we are expecting like to Janina and also Jessica. I hope Korea actually gets through to the gender leadership by having our leaders like a Jessica and Janina, and then having our really fairness of the gender and society and to be really happen in this country like others or better than others. Without having such value changes, the technology and innovation, what we are pursuing is nothing. And also I'd like to also represent Janina also as a time them who we invited Dom, Dr. Bamba Seal, and at the same time, Dom Fisher from County Manager. Dom Basil also is from the Intelligence Committee, and finally, actually made through like a, a Professor Pro, and at the same time, identifying key innovation, finally try to make that happen for the best jobs or best benefit for the people, which I really inspired by his vision to taking care of the future vision and future leaders. I think that will grow and our Korean professors would be a great advisor to their junior, Dr. Dambasio. I think this relationship will continue. At the same time, Mr. Don Fisher, who has committed for the county more than 10 years, even commissioner changed and that shows the commitment at the same time professionals. In this city of Shihun, also we have a man like Don Fisher, who has been taking care of this smart city and smart campus from the city side. His name is called Director Yi Chung Mok, who is now retired, not here, uh, but has been the one keeping the vision of Shihun city to be the smart, and also modern and great infrastructure. I hope all of you enjoy such an effort as that has done for the you know, more than decades or you know, 20 years or 30 years. I'm very glad that the, all the speakers and those concrete remarkers we have actually shared their great, great life, not just story and details. I think such power really moved us, I believe that is energy to revitalize, revitalize and revitalize global innovation frontiers. I hope our energy can spill over with the five country which I mentioned to revitalize the economy with the infrastructure, Ethiopia, Ukraine, Cuba, and Brazil, Indonesia, at the time of you know, five breakout sessions, which I mentioned to you. Well, there are four breakout sessions. The fifth is the one we are having today. So the, I'd like to ask you to join our strategy. The first one of smart city and smart infrastructure. The second one with the smart data. And third one is smart manufacturing and engineering management and uh, construction. Finally, the semiconductor and for the future of semi smart sensor and every intelligence. And finally, this SIS stretching infrastructure summit group, which will modelize and revitalize whole community of practice in the world to globally make the democracy prosper. I think that is all the hope we have. I think that's why all our students and alumni actually coming and reunioning all the time in Korea. I hope this reunion happens every year. At the same time, we ever, ever revitalize for the you know, forever endless frontier report or act. I believe we will continue this activity. Hope your support and also great engagement and contribution and also witness and sharing your life as a frontier. 
Thank you very much. I would like to invite Janina for also having some commentary uh, to learn or plan a session. After that, we will read the declaration in time. Thank you. Um, I don't have a tremendous amount to add to the remarks I gave earlier, um, only to say, you know, thank you again for the comments. It was incredible to hear the diverse perspectives today. Um, as I mentioned uh, a, a few hours ago, I guess now, um, we are planning a global forum here at SNU in November. Um, it'll be the 14th global forum that CGLA and SIPI have done. and we're really excited to work with uh, GRC to put together the agenda and um, curate a, a discussion that generates not only innovation, ideas, breakthroughs, but real value for communities and individuals through real projects producing value. One thing that um, CGLA and SIPI have always done is really focus our work on projects, real projects, and bringing projects from around the world across multiple sectors. Because if the projects aren't in the room for two days, there's, a, there's someone missing <laughs> at the table. Um, so uh, I'm, it's, it, for the next few months, we'll be learning more about um, international projects, but especially Korean infrastructure projects and um, deepening our, our knowledge and our breadth and understanding who needs to come to the table for a couple of reasons, right? The first is to create the world we wanna create, to create progress, to support projects that need to be supported, but also to support projects that maybe don't have enough attention on them, right? So supporting projects in developing nations, we need to take a closer look at uh, the Ukraine and see if there's something that can be done to support that situation as well. Um, but I am excited to have all of you um, invited to that event in November. Um, we'll keep these conversations um, expanding. I think that there's so many seeds that were planted today that we can really follow up on over the course of the next few months. I'm so grateful that I got the opportunity to come here because Zoom is you know, a, a useful tool that we all have adopted now, but there's no substitution to coming here and, and meeting with meeting with you all and giving you all a chance to speak to me and understand what what we're trying to do really and you know I spoke a lot about trust and and that's what you generate by having people come in, into the same room so in November we're you know we're going to be inviting project owners from around the world public sector private sector representatives technology and um, build build that trust and really make things happen in a in a concrete way, while also discussing the more abstract, maybe com uh, conversations that are also important about the ethics and the direction and the strategy. So I'm I'm thrilled at the opportunity to work with Professor Huang and his team over the next few months to develop an agenda and a list of attendees that will be incredibly impactful. So this is a great step in 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 the right direction. Thank you, Jenny. Uh, I, uh, adding on that, uh, so from November 1st to 4th, uh, the first week of November, uh, second floor, which can occupy 1,000 people as a conference, uh, we, are, we are planning to have uh, around 500 people to be attending, and we may use whole four, room, four rooms and then, and then uh, have a very different and innovative way of events and conference and for four days. So I, I'm inviting all of you to be there. It's our uh, GSDB, which is actually um, like a celebrating 20th anniversary of our scholarship of ITPP, of SNU, and also you know, MIC, Ministry of Information Communication Scholarship. At the same time, was the 14th anniversary of Global Infrastructure Leadership Forum, and uh, our first time to reunite our CIS to be in a form of two modality of a global infrastructure initiative now raised by uh, the older leaders in the world so that we can contribute to UNSDG, uh, Build Back Better for World, and also the recent global uh, infrastructure initiative. 
Now, uh, as a closing people, uh, please don't leave. We have also good lunch after the uh, session, but also we will have a you know, uh, photo session right after we read uh, this question, but we are not gonna read all. Uh, we already have a great consent you know, to the people from the, from the participating uh, institution, including us, and including the, the also Roman Divideo, Ultimi, and also Persus, and many other you know, great institution, the, the leader, top leader executive actually agreed to sign on it. So, but because of a sense of uh, online and thing that I like, will complete, but official date of signing will be uh, yesterday and today. That means uh, actually in the United States is a June 3rd, still in late and time. Right, and now June fourth in Korea. So we dated as a twenty third of June, and and signing. So I'd like to read just uh just five. Or the, you know I already gave you five country we want to be in, and especially for the strategic infrastructure. Second one, five thematic actual collaboration on five four breakout session, and the fifth one with uh, this summit, and that is you know, to continue and to be strategized. And that will be five. Another five is the declaration. I will read with you. And then I'll read the first one. And Janina will read the second one in the, with the builder point. So I'll, and then we'll finalize. And I'll ask you to, you know, have a big applause together. You know, we, when I say sign under strategic infrastructure summit 2022, and hope you join me to, you know, congratulate it or support it with the book clause. Okay. So, uh, declaration of intent, U.S.-Korea alliance on strategic infrastructure to revitalize democratic prosperity. Date of signing, Thursday, June 23rd, 2022. We hereby declare our intention of the following collective efforts. First, we will explore, the solid, explore and solidify opportunities of mutual collaboration based on each nation's infrastructure investment program, Blueprint 2025 United States, and Build Back Better for World by G20 and New Global Infrastructure Initiative proposed by G7 and Korea's Green Smart New Deal and Great Transformation Effort and New National Strategy Science and Technology Frontierism Leadership Policy. Two, implement the vision, goals, objectives, and initiative there, thereof through mutual integrated effort. We will architect a comprehensive integrated roadmap for strategic infrastructure development and implementation to bring respective creative and innovative capabilities together to foster mutual prosperity and well being for all global communities. Third, we will explore opportunities for collaborative action on infrastructure investment, technology and innovation, solution development, and business ecosystem integration and educational system reformation. Four, we will focus on maximizing synergetic effects of integrated capacities on advanced digital and fourth industrial revolution technologies, including blockchain, AI, IoT, big data, robotics, bioengineering, 5G, 6G, and in the areas of smart cities, sustainable infrastructure, new mobility, health, and transformative education. And the final, we will integrate our cap capacity to implement specific action initiative that will be ideated and designed and formulated through the pathways of collaboration in all above domains. So we hereby, as the alliance's founding member between two countries, in our commitment to forming the alliance to engage in bilateral and muni uh, multilateral action with each other and other parties who share similar goals to realize the foregoing vision, sign under Strategic Infrastructure Summit 2022. So please join me to have a, a good support from you with your book class. Thank you very much. I'll do my best to keep this community going. 
I hope uh, that all our community will be a great, great frontiers uh, with, within the given the capacity and benefit and also the uh, courage is given from the society and share with the rest of the society. Thank you very much for your attendance. Appreciate that. Thank you. Please give a big round of applause for Professor Chun Sok Hong and Mrs. Zena Anderson. I appreciate your speech giving us profound insights. With that, we'll wrap up the Strategic Infrastructure Summit 2022. We hope that the summit has provided you with valuable new perspectives on global innovation frontierism. On behalf of Seoul National University Global R&DB Center and Strategic Infrastructure Performance Institute, I'd like to express my appreciation to all the esteemed speakers and audiences for being with us today. Thank you very much and have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.